Let's take a look this evening at induced charge. To induce a charge is to charge an object without actually touching it. So here we don't need to rub two objects together because we're going to charge them without actually touching them. Works like this. Have a look at these two objects. The long, skinny, rod-shaped object is definitely positively charged. The round one, the yellow one, is actually neutral. If you counted up all of the little black negative charges and all of the little red positive charges, you'd get the same number. So, in order to induce a charge, we can bring a positive object very close to a neutral one. Because the electrons equal the protons on our yellow neutral object, it's neutral. But the electrons will move toward the positive uh, rod, giving one side of our neutral object a negative charge. And so in that way, our round yellow neutral object will be attracted to our positive object even though it hasn't got a charge itself. Now we haven't got a diagram to illustrate it, but exactly the same thing can happen if we were to bring a negatively charged object close to a neutral one. In that case though, the presence of the negatively charged object would uh, repel, would drive away all of the electrons on the neutrally charged object and so you'd have the opposite pattern. You'd have the little black negative charges running away from the charged object, leaving only the red positive ones behind. And it would still end up overall attracted to the charged object. That's all there is to inducing charge.